Hello YouTube. So I haven't posted in almost like three years or maybe over three years. I'm not 100% sure. And I've just really been feeling recently the want to create videos again, specifically videos, not Instagram posts, um, not podcasts really or maybe some podcasts actually, but mostly just like recording videos. And particularly because so much has happened in my life in the last three years, and I just don't actually have a place of recording any of that information. And not that I really do this at all, but I really like the idea that I have a bunch of YouTube videos on my platform that just document like little moments in my life like those little snippets of like going to a juice bar or like going on a flight or going on holiday is really nice. I've captured them and because so much has happened in the last three years and I don't actually have like proper recordings of those things except like my camera reel on my phone and now that I have a baby, newsflash, I have a baby, now that I have a baby I was just thinking like oh it'd be so nice to like record these videos for her um, of what we do as a family and my new experiences as a mum so that I can look back on that and also my kids can look back on that and whoever else wants to kind of learn from that and if there's any advice I can help and or like support and I think partly because I've become a new mum recently that's really made me keen to share my experience in case I can offer any advice to anybody going through something similar or people who are you know thinking about going into motherhood partly because in the last like, year I have relied on YouTube way more than like I ever did before I think it's partly because I stopped posting on Instagram both my public progress pure one and then my private one I deleted anyway and so I really relied on like a YouTube community like just finding random bloggers or vloggers hearing about their experiences as they went through pregnancy and then birth and like looking at their birth videos and stuff that it made me think like oh I want to share my story like I really I had an amazing birth um thankfully fortunately and I've learned a lot the fourth trimester has been the hardest most exhausting thing I've ever done and I just want to share it so what I'm planning to do in the next three videos that I release is the biggest things that have happened in my life. I'm gonna have a video to summarize each of those. So one of them has been, I was part of a startup that was sold to a much bigger company, which I'll talk about in a second. I got married, um, and I had a baby. And actually the reason why I stopped podcasting it, and I couldn't really talk about it at the time, so I just didn't talk about it at all. I was just like, sign off, see you later, sayonara. The reason why I didn't talk about it is because, yeah, I couldn't. Um, there was nothing like legally in a contract to say you can't talk about this, but it just felt like something really sensitive and personal and momentous. And it was to do with my family, so I just didn't want to, you know, murky any of the waters. How do you say that, murky any of the waters? That's absolutely not how you say it. You can get dirty any of the waters, blur the waters. Come on, someone knows. Write down below, what is it? I can't remember. Um, but now that it's been over two years, I can talk about it and I feel comfortable talking about it. And so back in June 2021, well actually from February 2019, I was part of a startup that my brother started with his uh, best friend. Um, they started it and I was doing sales uh, for this startup that was to do with um, hospitality technology and there were about nine of us, yes I have a cold by the way, that's the beautiful sniffles, um, it was part of hospitality technology, I was doing sales and I loved it, it was so fun and so nice that my brother was my boss and we got on so well. And I think when you're in a startup, you know, all the highs are so high and the lows are so low. And basically when COVID happened, I was put on furlough for about three months. And during those three months, I was like, what am I gonna do with my time? And uh, so I was one of those annoying people who like was like, I'm gonna learn a language. And um, 
do and get into podcasting because I was also listening to a ton of podcasts at the time, like Joe Rogan. I was listening to Chris D'Elia a lot until they found out that he was um, talking to like minors, so that was fucking weird. But um, found him really funny before all of that happened. But yeah, listened to like a lot of Joe Rogan, um, Bobby Lee. Um, who else was I listening to? Theo Vaughn. And I was just like, oh my God, their life is so cool. They're like making money and like just having a really fun time and like speaking to cool people and learning awesome things. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a podcast as well. But I said to myself, if I'm gonna do a podcast, I'm going to post at least one podcast a week. And uh, doesn't matter like, um, you know, if I'm not 100% proud of it, I was like, I need to commit to just releasing content. So I was doing one a week, and then even when I started working again, I was taken off furlough. I still committed to that. So that was like quite a lot. I also started learning Hebrew. So I learned Hebrew. That might not make sense. Uh, but I um, taught myself in the beginning, and then I got a tutor and a teacher and I started speaking more with my dad because he's Israeli and can speak Hebrew and that was like, that was an amazing thing um, for me and a journey that I really wanted to like focus on because I've always wanted to speak another language and even though I'm not fluent, I have the basis now of another language and I'm in the place where I can pick up more words quite easily and so as long as I'm practicing learning more so I've also been doing that very consistently for the last four years 21 22 22 four three years for the last no four years almost four years as well um and so I've just been spending more time yeah on on the company and then um on Hebrew but anyway so with the podcasting stuff basically I was releasing one podcast a week and I was loving it but it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work because I would do like a lot of research into what I was going to talk about. If you did listen to any of my podcasts, they're on debates, dates, and then just other interesting topics. And on the debating ones, I would like heavily research all these topics and like try and find guests and then write out kind of like a rough idea of topics that I wanted to speak about or themes. And when we were getting to a point where I thought the company was going to sell, we were basically meant to be raising for our series B and then we ended up selling. And then the run up on that, <coughs> sorry, the run up to that when we ended up selling it happened very quickly and I had to make like a conscious decision. I was like, am I gonna continue with these podcasts? And if I was going to do that, I knew I couldn't give 100% of myself to the new company we were starting at. And I really wanted to give 100% of myself to this company because I'd never worked for like a big growing scale up um, to fintech. And yeah, it was like a huge deal. And I really wanted to prove myself in that area. So I just was like, I'm not going to do content creating or podcasting at all because it's just not the right time. And it didn't feel right. There was something, and I can't explain it. It just didn't feel, I just didn't want to put myself out there anymore, like for that period of time. I didn't want to be talking about my personal life and I didn't want a camera on me. Like I just was sick of it, I think. And so I started working at this company in June, 2021. Worked there, I still work there. And at the same time of me joining that company, I met my now husband, his name's Jacob, um, he's amazing, and we met on Hinge, and I couldn't talk about that on my platform because like, I actually really liked him, and he's like the most like respectable, um, gentlemanly, lovely, like kind person, and I was like, I'm not gonna like record content, and he knew about my podcast because he Googled, Googled me and found it, and I didn't want him to think like, oh, I'm just another guy who she's gonna talk about on her platform. And so it didn't feel respectful to talk about him at all um, or my like dating experience with him. And so I didn't. And me and him progressed like extremely quickly and he ended up proposing the year after that we met. And that's the second video that I'm gonna do about. The first one's gonna be about the company, selling the company, what that was like 
I'll try and get my brother and the other co-founder Freezer on this podcast as well just to talk about it in case anybody's interested and then the second video will be hopefully with Jacob he said he, he won't mind I think being on here so that would be really nice oh and this is the logo by the way of the company that that was sold it's a walking man but you can't really see it when I go like this can you see it um and yeah, the second video will be with him and me talking about our relationship, how we met, how we became boyfriend-girlfriend, and then how he ended up proposing. And then my third video is going to be about my baby. Um, her name is Mila. And I ended up getting pregnant in, what was it? It was like June of 2023 last year. And then I had her in March 5th of this year. And throughout that whole pregnancy, I was like, joined Reddit communities, like was reading loads. I'm the first person really out of my friends who's had a baby, so I didn't really have a place to go to, to like talk about babies and what that was like. And obviously my parents had me and my brother, but that was so long ago. Sorry, mum, it wasn't so long ago, but you know, it was at least a few decades. So, um, yeah, I went to YouTube a lot. I just turned to YouTube, started following a lot of vloggers who have small accounts that I just really liked, them talking about their journey. And I think that's kind of what prompted me to now be like, okay, I want to just post a video and I want to start documenting stuff that's happening in our lives because what a cool thing to be able to look back on. So yeah, that third video will be about our family life and what happened and our baby and the birth the birth vlog that's mostly what's gonna be about and I have footage of the whole birth I had a water birth and it was incredible so I'm gonna probably release footage on that as well if Jacob is cool with it and yeah so I just wanted to sh film this kind of like short uh, where have I like been the last three years um, and a little update because I will continue to post little things um, videos mostly I just way like I really prefer speaking to the camera and recording things and probably not on Instagram really at all because personally for me I think with Instagram it got to a place where I couldn't I didn't find joy in it and I didn't know what to post and because I didn't have that instinctive feeling of I want to share this I was just sharing stuff for the sake of it and then I think when you start doing that and you the intention is misaligned like you're posting things conscious of what other people will see and um what they will think of it your content just becomes shit then because it's not genuine and there's so much ungenuine stuff out there that I just thought I don't want to be contributing to all this other noise like it didn't feel helpful and I didn't want to do it so I was like why am I doing this and uh, one reason why I feel like now in the last three years I'm also able to come back to YouTube and post videos is because I kind of got over this mental thing where for so long I thought if my videos aren't like so popular then I can't post them because like it's embarrassing or something or I don't know people will think I'm like lame or something and I just got to a point where I was like I personally love watching really small vloggers and their YouTube and just like being a part of their community I comment like you know um offer advice where I can or like ask questions and stuff and I just thought you know I'm enjoying watching other people's content and it was just this real like realization of like oh yeah you don't need to try and be this person or that person or compare you can just be yourself and post your own stuff going on in your life and as long as I find that interesting, that's all I really want to be doing. And if I can help somebody else with some advice or um, anything like that, then I love that. And I'm gonna wrap up this video, but the reason why I'm able to film it right now is because my little baby Mila has been asleep for like two hours, which is amazing. And I wasn't gonna record this, but I was like, I have time, I've eaten, I've gone to the toilet, I've slept. Um, so I actually have like spare 20 minutes. And that's why I made this video. And I will see you guys another time. Bye.